Seamless rolled rings keep a lot of things running in our world, so we thought it was time to recognize their contribution. These wheels of steel are essential components of engines, power generators, and industrial machinery, to name just a few things. And you could say they keep things operating seamlessly. Seamless rolled rings are at the center of the action in a lot of machinery, such as bearings, gears, and connectors. A seamless rolled ring starts with one of these solid steel billets. A powerful magnet moves them into a queue for production. A saw with carbide tip teeth cuts the billet into smaller chunks. A hydraulically powered claw then takes the cut piece to a furnace fired to 2300 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to soften the steel for forging, but below its melting point. The steel turns bright yellow, which indicates that it's ready to be removed. The operator places it in a chamber where chains batter the ends to break off scale formed by the searing heat of the furnace. The claw then transfers it to an 1100 ton press. It squashes the steel slightly, causing the scale on the sides to crack and break off. Then it's over to a die. A worker places a bit of coal in the center of the hot steel chunk. The coal catches, generating a powder that lubricates the action of a 2800 ton punch. The punch pierces the center of the steel and pushes it against the walls of the die, transforming the steel chunk into a donut. 30 feet away, the operator controls the gripper to lift out the donut. He then reactivates the punch to knock out the last bit of metal in the center hole. By now, the steel has cooled down quite a bit, so it's into another furnace to bring it back to forging temperature. Once it's yellow hot, this steel donut is ready to be transformed into a ring. A mandrel pokes up through the center. It stabilizes the donut as a conveyor slides it into position for ring rolling. The donut rotates and rollers press against it to shape it into a thin, wide ring. Cone-shaped tools above and below also spin against it to establish the desired height. The hot steel is easily manipulated by the tools and stretches like putty. This process turns the donut into a ring, and that's why they call this ring rolling. The change is truly dramatic. A worker stamps a serial number onto the rim. Next, a tool drags the ring onto a conveyor, which takes it to a stacking device. The rings cool from yellow to orange. Soon, they'll be completely cooled and ready to head into another furnace, this time for heat treating. This tempering process relieves the stresses in the steel caused by all that rolling and forging. This makes the steel stronger and more resilient. Once this ring has been cooled and hardened, they position it on a turntable, relying on a special gauge to let them know it's on the mark. The ring revolves as a tool peels off that sooty looking crust to reveal the glossy substructure. And they give the interior of some rings the same treatment. Now, these steel rings are ready to take their place as components in heavy equipment, power plants, and even train wheels. Because when it comes to their capabilities, they're definitely well-rounded.